Belt Hall of Fame undisputed martial arts champion and international film star Bruce Lee. His job was to get them out alive. <laughs> that is from the 1973 Bruce Lee classic, Enter the Dragon. Matthew Pauly has a passion for the story of Bruce Lee. He went to China to study Kung Fu at the Shaolin Temple. He teaches a class on Lee at Yale and... <laughs> Love the picture, by the way, Matthew. He just pinned a biography titled Bruce Lee, A Life. It's advertised as the most authoritative biography on the kung fu and acting legend with rarely seen photographs in more than 100 interviews of Lee's family, friends, and business associates. Polly says this book, which is based on a decade of research, is something he's been preparing for his whole life. I'm one of those uh, kind of archetypal, skinny, bullied kids who saw Enter the Dragon. 12 and Bruce kind of jumped off the screen into my imagination and, and became my hero. Took up the martial arts and ended up going to China to study Kung Fu with the Shaolin monks and really uh, my, the entire course of my life was changed by Bruce Lee for the better and I feel in a way writing this book was uh, my way to pay back that debt. CBS Local asked Polly about some of the most surprising things in the book including how Roman Polanski, for a brief moment, thought Bruce Lee might have been behind the infamous Tate murders, which were carried out under the direction of Charles Manson. Two of his closest friends were Jay Sebring and Sharon Tate. Right. Uh, and Roman Polanski was one of his students. Uh, and in the Manson murders, um, Tate and Sebring were killed. And at the scene of the crime, uh, one of the murderers left uh, a pair of horn rim glasses. Mm. And Polanski came to believe that he could find the killer by finding out who had lost a pair of glasses. And then just one day randomly while he was training with Bruce, Bruce mentioned that he had lost his pair of glasses. Mm -hmm. And for a short, brief moment, Polanski was terrified. And he says to him, let's go to the, you know, the store and I'll buy you a new an optician store and I'll buy you a new pair of glasses. And so for the entire ride, Polanski's thinking, could it be Bruce? He has the skills to do it, and it might have been him. Uh, and then they get to the store, and Bruce orders his glasses, and the prescription's not the same. Mm. And Polanski breathes a sigh of relief and never tells Bruce of his suspicions. Polly believes his course on Bruce Lee at Yale University offers students a valuable life lesson. Take a listen. Bruce Lee, A Life, is available now online and in bookstores. Matt Yuris for CBS Local News.